Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. And for today's video, we're gonna be talking all things baby months nine to 12. So many things happen during these months, so many developmental leaps. So I'm gonna be giving some Davis updates and also sharing his favorite toys, books, food, and everything in between. So if you'd like to hear all things baby months nine to 12, then just go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to be talking a lot about toys and books because that is essentially what makes his world go round. <laughs> okay, so one of his favorite toys during this time was this little car track toy. It comes with four of these tiny little cars. You stick it on the top and then it goes down and it comes, you know, out the bottom. And he loved, loves watching it go from side to side and his little eyes move with it. And then he finally figured out how to put it on himself the correct way and make it go down. And he is so proud of himself. He can play with this toy for so long. And this is seriously one of his absolute favorite ones. And then when my three-year-old nephews come over, they also are obsessed with this toy. So this toy will entertain for a long time. Okay, next toy that was a huge hit during this time is this little dump truck. So I got this for him for Christmas, which means he was right at 10 months, right about 10 months old. But you turn it on, it sings. I'm a powerful dump truck. It comes with three of these and there's the little hole right there. So you push it, push it in, and then it's in here. And he will just sit there and grab it, put it in, grab it, put it in over and over and over. Um, and then he also grabs it by the string and like pushes it around and um, crawls around with it. He loves this toy. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. He loves this toy so, so much. It's so entertaining. He'll dump it out this way or he'll just grab it. I, I don't know what it is about this toy. I did not think it would be as big of a hit as it is, but this is still to this day, one of his absolute favorite toys of all of our toys. He loves it so much. And now he is 13 months old and still plays with this every single day. Every time I grab his ball, he runs over to this toy, puts it in, um, and we'll just do it over and over and over again. So this was such a good purchase for us. I'm so glad I ended up getting it. So those two toys are for sure his number one favorites, the car race and the dump truck. But the other thing that he plays with every single day, um, starting around 10 months, because I got this for him for Christmas as well, is this walker. So he still uses this every single day when we go out to the living room after he wakes up, he will grab this and he takes off and just cruises along with it. Um, I love this one because it's super interactive. You can turn it on. You don't need to listen to it. It's kind of annoying. Anyways, you can press all the buttons. There's shapes that you can take on and off. There's little things that you can swirl around, things you can open. Like it's such an interactive toy, really colorful, um, which is good for their development, as annoying as it may look. Um, but seriously, he loves it. He takes off with it immediately. When he sees it, he just grabs it and goes. Um, and I love it because it tires him out. It teaches him how to walk. He just cruises with this thing. He seriously feels so independent with it. It's getting heavy, so I'm gonna put it down. But he feels so independent with a walker toy. Um, he is 13 months and he is not quite walking on his own yet, but with a toy, with a walker toy or with like a walker car, he just is gone. Takes off and is gone. Um, but he's not confident enough to like take steps on his own. So if you have a baby who is crawling but not yet walking, you have to get them a walker toy. It is a game changer. It tires him out, keeps him entertained. He cracks up. He has so much fun. He feels independent. Oh, I cannot say enough good things about that walker toy. He loves it. I would say those three things are his main go-tos plays with them every day, multiple times a day. Um, other toys that he really, really likes as well when they're around um, is this cube toy. Don't know what it's called, um, but it came with four little chips in here, um, two black, two white, um, and it has taught him how to put this in to the little slot. Um, at first, he was just slapping it on. He didn't know like how to put it in, but it, over and over, I was trying to teach him. 
Finally, he got it. He'll put them in the slot and then take them out through this part. And then when they're in there, he'll shake it, at, shake it and bang it on the floor. And he just, oh, he goes crazy for this. He has so much fun with it. Um, and I like that, you know, it's wood, it's colorful. He has, he has a blast with this. This actually came in his KiwiCo box. So he really likes this. And then another one that came in his KiwiCo box that he really likes is this little um, panda tissue box, if you will. Um, so it comes with a ton of different little squares, tons of them, similar to tissues. And if your baby is anything like mine, he goes crazy for tissue boxes and takes all of them out. But one thing I like about this is that he has learned to put them back in. So after many, many times trying with him, I show him how to grab it and put it back in, put it all back in. And then before you know it, he's taking them out again. So he really likes it and has fun with it, but I just mostly like how it teaches them, how it teaches him how to take things out, put them back in, out, in. Um, Cause you know, pretty soon he's gonna start needing to clean up after himself. So I just like that it kind of shows him how to put it back together. Okay, so. that is it for toys because honestly, Davis is entertained by boxes and Tupperware and things that aren't really his. So anyways, um, that is it for toys, keeping it to a minimum because honestly, like anywhere that I am, if I'm in the bathroom getting ready or in the kitchen making food, he finds something in there to play with, usually Tupperware. Um, so anyways, that's it for toys. So moving on to a couple books that he could not get enough of. Um, this one is called Things That Go. I got this at um, TJ Maxx. And um, he loves it because it has little pull tabs. So, you know, I read the page and then he pulls it down. Every page has a little tab to pull down. So he loves just a fun interactive book. Um, honestly, he loves reading books. He'll now go over to his bookshelf and grab it, usually an interactive book for me to read to him. So he loves it. He has fun with the, uh, with the tab ones. I have a couple different ones, but the idea is still the same, something that opens and then he can pull it down or flip it up or anything like that. So things that go, um, it's called lift a flap book and he loves it. And then another book that he really enjoys is called noisy things that go. Um, and you click on the train, makes a little noise, a little train noise. And then, you know, read about the train and then here's the car and then the helicopter. A fairy boat. Anyways, he loves hearing all of the different sounds. He just, he, again, he likes interactive books. Um, I have certain books for like playtime when he just wants to read a book. And then I have like non-interactive toys, I guess you could say for like nap time and bedtime ones that don't make noise and don't have like flaps or anything. So anyways, these two are some super fun ones that he just likes flap ones and then um, these that make noise. And then as far as these go, we have a couple other um, books on this as well. This is noisy things that go. And then we have one that's noisy cars that go or noisy. Yeah, I think it's called noisy cars that go. Anyway, so we have one in the car and one in the house and he really loves these. Found, got it on Amazon. And again, they have tons of different ones. Okay, moving on to the food. There isn't a food category at all, but I just have one item in that category and it's a non-mess snack cup. So I really like this one in particular because it has a handle and you can grab it and hold it really easily. So I always put a bunch of Cheerios in here. And then um, as you can see, he like you flip it upside down and nothing will come out, but he can reach in really easily. So this has been super, super helpful. Um, like when we're on our walks or we're at church or he's in the back seat in the car, there's so many different kinds of these. I got this one, I think at Walmart. Um, but I really like this one just cause it has the handle. A lot of other ones I've seen, you have to hold around the whole thing. So he carries this around super easily. So this is a good age to introduce a nice non mess snack cup. And then also around the nine to 12 month mark, he started moving from eating two meals a day to three meals a day. Um, so he nurse, since he nurses so often, he just wasn't super interested in having three meals a day. He just wasn't hungry enough for it. So he would have some snacks and then he would, you know, have a little breakfast, a little lunch, uh, but nothing huge. And then as he got a little bit older, more closer to 12 months, he is eating three solid meals a day along with snacks along with still nursing around seven to eight times in a 24 hour period. So the boy is eating so much, um, but I really had to tell myself before one, food is just for fun. That's like what they say. So don't stress out about it too much if your baby isn't eating like three square meals a day, um, because again, before one, food is just for fun. 
sleeping. So sleeping is another thing that I wanted to talk about in his update because I feel like um, this opinion isn't really talked about a whole lot. Um, but he still is the worst sleeper ever. He's just a bad sleeper. He came out that way. From the moment he was born, he didn't sleep unless he was being held. He liked to nurse for comfort. Um, a part of it is the habits that I've let him create, but a huge part of it is who he came out being. Um, so I feel like sleep, all you hear about with sleeping and baby sleeping is the eat, play, sleep, um, sleep training, get your baby on a schedule every three hours, like just, it's very rigid. Um, and I, from what I've learned, um, obviously, you know, I only have one child, but the opinion that I have is your baby comes out who they are, um, putting them on a rigid schedule just did not work for Davis. I have tried so hard to have him nap at the same time, wake up at the same time, have this X amount of perfect wake window period, um, put him to bed by this certain time, and nothing has worked nothing um, as far as his sleep schedule goes it is different every single night every night it is different he nurses for comfort every single night um last night he woke up three times in the night and then the night before he woke up every two hours on the mark and i know that is actually insane i don't know how i'm awake it's literally been 13 months of him waking up multiple times a night every single night and never getting a full night's sleep ever so i'm super freaking tired i'm so tired Ugh. I get tired just thinking about it. But moral of the story about sleep training is it's just not for me. And it's it's just not. I tried letting him cry. Um, and I just don't, I don't, um, it's not that I don't agree with it, but I just don't think that that is what is best for my child. Um, he nurses for comfort and that's just kind of who he is. He's only up, when he when he wakes up, he's only up for five to seven minutes. He's hardly up at all. When I go in there to get him, he's probably asleep in two to three minutes. He strictly nurses for comfort. Um, it's not like he's awake for a long period of time or he's restless. He just nurses for comfort. That's literally it. Um, and I've made the decision myself to allow him to do that. Um, I could easily just let him cry and not go in there, but that just doesn't feel right to me as a mom. Um, I just, just in my gut, it just doesn't feel right. I've gotten lots of different opinions from people, um, but I've decided that that is what works best for us. I just, I don't feel right about letting him cry. I know a lot of people do, and it works out for a lot of people, um, and I know they, you know, say they're so much happier, but I just don't feel right about letting my baby scream when all he wants is his mom's comfort. He's just looking for me, he just needs me, um, and that's kind of my take on sleep training. Um, one thing I am going to do differently when I have my next baby is try really hard from the beginning to put them down for at least one nap a day. I never did that with Davis ever. Part of the reason why he is because he wouldn't nap when I put him down. Um, but I'm really going to try hard to get, a, you know, a good swaddle, try super hard to put them down for at least a nap so they can sort of learn how to sleep by themselves. Um, maybe that that would, maybe that would help fix the problem um but if you decide not to sleep train and to go to your baby when they are crying in the night do you i feel like no one no one talks about that everyone just talks about sleep training sleep schedules just they're kind of a rigid system and that's just not what's working for us so anyways moral of that story he's still waking up a lot i'm still going to him and i'm still really tired so the things you do for your kids you know and then for talking updates around month 10 or 11, he started saying mama, dada, and cheese. And he'll, he'll do that. Um, if you say cheese to him, he'll like, you know, do a little squint and show his teeth. It's so cute. So those are the, so far, those are the three words that are in his little vocabulary, but he definitely says dada the most, which, you know, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. Alrighty guys, that wraps up my nine to 12 month baby essentials and update. I feel like I didn't share too many toys and books. Um, because I really wanted to include his absolute favorites. So those are his number one favorites. Highly suggest getting those if you have a baby around that age. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Please leave me any suggestions down in the description box. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram to keep updated with me. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will catch you in my next one. Bye.